Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Toledo. Sorry, I have not uh, been um, putting out some tutorials lately, but uh, I've been doing some very in-depth tutorials, uh, especially for the uh, DVD that's coming out, the Glue Pole Practicals this fall. And I've been also training uh, students as well. So I thought I would give you a nice big preview about what I have in store for the DVD. This is a two-part um, tutorial for YouTube. Obviously, I can't fit everything on YouTube because they only allow me 10 minutes. So we're going to uh, make this an equal two halves. So let's get started in this. I hope I don't bore you too much. And I really actually hope you get a lot out of the uh, glue pulling uh, tutorial here. It's going to show a lot of products, um, basically what you'd want to use, uh, what you'd want to have, and um, how they work. Uh, not like super in depth with everything because that is going to be on the glue pole practicals so i hope you enjoy this and i hope you get something out of it and obviously if you like it please subscribe and uh, email me anytime i'm going to have a lot more good stuff coming out there and i'm always trying to do to the best of my ability the best tutorials i can actually provide for you guys okay so thanks a lot for everybody watching and subscribing all right, let's talk about the slide hammer. It's one of my personal favorites. I really like the slide hammer because I have a lot of, lot of control. Uh, it's designed for small and big dents. Um, it's, uh, you can get it anywhere between three to five pounds. I have the five pound one. It's kind of, that one's kind of harder to find, but um, if you do your searches, you can uh, find that one. And um, you can also check autolecture.com or some of the other companies as well. I'm sure the other PDR companies have them as well. And uh, it's, what can I say? You have all around good control on this, um, this slide hammer. If I had to pick out of any of these, this would be the one I'm going to choose. Um, I can use it pretty much on everything. I can use it the rails, the sides, uh, pretty much everything. So that tool i really highly recommend the slide hammer you you can really pull some good big dents out you can pull small dents out with you have a lot of control with it and so let me uh, just show you a little bit of a demo here uh, we've got it set up you can see the tabs are set up and uh, you see how good how much force you need to actually pull a lot of that center out um, it really gives you a lot of lot of control that's why you need a slide hammer to really pull some deeper dents out a lot of tug you know and uh, a lot of leverage and especially if you want to pull a big portion out of the dent as you see right here really good and even for the small dents watch how you get a nice pop and um, you know and you want it nice and high have a little bit of control and there you go you set up your dent it works out really great all right up next is the mini lifter I know a lot of hail techs use these a lot. I personally use them a lot as well. Um, what can I say? It's great. It's designed for smaller dents and hail damage. Really light and easy to store. Quick, easy setup. Um, best results are when you um, squeeze it fast and hard. Basically make a quick snap like you, you'll see right here. And that mini lifter is perfect for bringing that pit out. You know, the center pit, it needs to be shocked right out, like really snapped out to, um, to, to get that center out. A lot of hail techs use them a lot. Uh, saves them a lot of time for the hoods and roofs, rails, and all kinds of stuff. And I know I'm gonna, kind of going fast. I'm not explaining the details of the techniques, but obviously that's a reason why. If you want to know the details of every type of dent, or excuse me, every type of uh, product of, that you're seeing here, you're going to have to get Anyways, let's get started. Let's go back into some more details about these products. The hand puller. It's actually becoming one of my favorites right now. I use this hand puller a lot. Uh, some guys or some companies call it a, a T puller, hand puller. Um, it really is surprisingly very good. It uh, grabs the dent very, very good. I use it a lot. Actually, I use it um, basically for pulling the low out when I have a you know a nice crown and that's a little bit of the details uh, I can share with you but it's a very great tool I mean I whipped that tool out really quick really fast it's really really a great tool it's uh, I'll be honest with you um, 
you'll be very surprised about how well you can snap dents out with that tool, uh, how much control you have, and you can even pull out big dents, a big lion's share of the dents. So I really recommend that tool. Um, between all the tools, I, I'll be honest with you, I might get, the, I, if I was the, to pick any tools, I'd recommend the slide hammer and that hand puller. The mini lifter is great. I, like I said, it's not going to hurt if you're a professional and you want all three of them. I really highly recommend. You know, the more tools, usually the better. And the more, obviously, the efficient you're going to become. Um, so it's a big benefit to have more than one. one you know, I, I carry all three of them, so it wouldn't hurt for you too as well. All right, that wraps it up for part one. Go ahead and uh, click on the part two and uh, we'll get you uh, settled in for the second part. So thanks for watching and please subscribe if you like it. Thank you very much.